Good morning and again a very warm welcome to our service this week from St Andrew's Church at Ecrain. I'm very pleased that you've been able to join us again this week. So we start with an opening prayer to God. Be with us, Spirit of God. Nothing can separate us from your love. Breathe on us, breath of God, and fill us with your saving power. Speak in us, wisdom of God. Bring strength, healing and peace. And the Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. As always, we come to God as one from whom no secrets are hidden, to ask for his forgiveness and for his peace. Almighty God, long-suffering and of great goodness, I confess to you, I confess with my whole heart, my neglect and forgetfulness of your commandments, my wrongdoing, thinking and speaking, the hurts I have done to others and the good I have left undone. Oh God forgive me, for I have sinned against you. Raise me to newness of life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so I pray may the God of love and power forgive us all and free us from our sins, heal and strengthen us by his Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. The Bible reading that I've chosen for today's service is actually a psalm, and it's Psalm 150. Praise the Lord! Praise God in his temple! Praise his strength in heaven. Praise him for the mighty things he has done. Praise his supreme greatness. Praise him with trumpets. Praise him with harps and lyres. Praise him with drums and dancing. Praise him with harps and flutes. Praise him with cymbals. Praise him with loud symbols. Praise the Lord, all living creatures. Praise the Lord. I wonder after listening to that psalm if it gives you a clue as to what I'm going to be talking about today. To be talking about music. And I just wonder, do you have a favourite piece of music? Something that's special, that means something to you? As I was thinking about this, I realised I've got two favourite pieces of music. They're quite different from one another. One is called The Beach by New Order, which is bouncy and dancy. It's lovely. You have to have a listen to it if you can. And then right at the other extreme, I've got The Flower Duet by De Lieb, which is so gentle and peaceful. It's lovely. And music can do so many things for us, can't it? It can remind us of times of great happiness. It can remind us of romance or celebration. It can make us think about sad times, times of loss, bring back memories for us. It can be very nostalgic. Music can be a source of comfort, of pleasure, of joy, something to relax to or dance to until the early hours, which Robert often does. <laughs> or music can be jarring or painful and just like, just a horrible noise. Sometimes I put the radio on in the car and it's been tuned to one of Robert's stations and it's like, oh, I don't like that music, that's awful. And I think music is really mysterious. How it manages to stir such powerful emotions in us and how we all relate so differently to it. But what about hymns? What's your favourite hymn? I think my favourite hymn of all time is In Christ Alone. That's a really special hymn for me. 
and I'm sure you've got your own. But music has been an important part of worship for centuries. And we can see that if we look back into the Old Testament. I wonder if you know the most prolific musician in the Old Testament. It's King David. He was an accomplished harpist. He was a singer, a writer of music and of lyrics. And he was also a poet. And music was so important to David's worship and to that of his people. It was so important in praising God. And I can give you an example of this because if you look in the book of Chronicles, it talks about David choosing people specifically to lead music in the temple. And he organises the Levite people to play harps, tambourines, trumpets, cymbals, and to sing. And it actually says in the book of Chronicles that he has 288 men to organise the music in the temple. Huge music group. And later on in the book of Chronicles, we hear about David in a really joyous God moment where he's leaping about for joy and he's dancing to the music. He's so ecstatic and lost in that music. And actually, if you think about it, the Psalms in the Old Testament, there are 150 of them in total, are actually songs. They look like poems, but they are actually songs. And many of those were written by David. And some of them are bouncy and about praise and worship and thanksgiving. And some of them are very sad and reflective and asking God for help. And if you think about it, that's very much like today's music. We can have music to dance to and to be happy to, and then we can have more reflective music too. Some of David's psalms even have musical directions written above them. For example, on one of them it says, for flute, another for stringed instruments, and some of them even specify the tune that they're meant to be sung to. So we can see that music has had a really important place in worship for many, many years. And it goes all the way through to the New Testament too. Because St Paul wrote, Sing hymns, psalms and sacred songs to God with praise in your hearts. And of course we know music is still so important in our churches and in our faith today. Different sorts of music all around the world. And it doesn't matter whether you prefer Mozart's religious music or Stormzy's music, whether you like Charles Wesley hymns or you prefer Graham Kendrick hymns, or listening to the cathedral organ and the choir or to a music group. All these types are, of music are as diverse as we are but they've all got the same aim, and the same aim is praising and worshipping God. I know at the moment that church life is very difficult, we're either closed or when we're open we still can't sing. And that makes us all very sad because we love to sing praises to God in whichever way suits us best. But one day we're going to make music again. After Covid, we're going to make so much music in church, you can, you'll be able to hear it from one end of the land to the other. And I'm hoping that after Covid, we are going to have some sort of a songs of praise, where we'll do absolutely nothing but sing. And I'm really looking forward to that day, and I hope you are too. Well, today's hymn that we've chosen um, it's called God is our strength and refuge and you may listen to that title and think mm, I don't think I know that one but you wait till you listen to the music and I think you will and I hope you enjoy singing this hymn
song. I hope you did. It was the Dam Busters March. Very powerful song. And so now it's a time for prayer. So let us pray together. Father, we thank you so much that you have blessed us with the gift of music. And that there is so much variety for us to choose from. Music that lifts our souls. Music that makes our feet dance. Music that soothes and calms. Music that opens up so many different emotions for us. Music that reminds us of happy times and of celebration. Father, we praise you for the mystery of music and how as individuals we respond so very differently to its many, many forms. We give thanks especially today for the music that we use in our worship, again in so many different forms. We thank you for cathedrals with their choirs and organs, for churches with music groups, for guitars and drums. We thank you for all the music musicians who provide church music for us, helping us to worship you by raising our voices to heaven. We thank you for those people who wrote our hymns, are still writing hymns today, and for church music, for their inspiring words of praise. Father, you know that we've not been able to sing in our churches for such a long time, and you know how much we miss it. And we pray that soon, very soon, we will be able to sing in church once again. But until that time, we pray that you keep our hearts singing and you keep our souls filled with praise. Amen. And we're now going to say together the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And as always, we, we remember that the Lord God Almighty is our Father, who loves us and cares tenderly for us. The Lord Jesus Christ is our Saviour, who has redeemed us and will defend us to the end. The Lord the Holy Spirit is among us and he will lead us in God's holy way. To God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be praise and glory today and forever. Amen. As I was thinking about music today, I was also thinking, I wonder what your favourite hymn is. And if you have a favourite hymn and you'd like to let us know what it is, then we might be able to, to put that hymn in one of our services, either online or in church at some time in the future. So if you do have a favourite hymn, let us know. And so until next week, I pray that God gives us all his comfort, his peace, his light and his joy in this world and in the next. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. And so until next week, from Robert and myself, goodbye. <laughs>